This is Deborah with Black Education TV. Now I said that if I had time, I would come again and give a second review of the movie Get Out. Now I want to come to you with the Becky aspect. We're going to talk about Becky. See, Becky has been a real issue for, I would say, the past three decades, maybe a little more. Now in the past, Becky was off limits to the so-called black man. She was completely off limits. If you were caught looking at her, whistling at her, or doing anything of the sort, you were dealt with harshly. But see, now Becky is thrown up in your face as some sort of prize, right? And many black men have been blindsided by this whole Becky thing. Now I know Becky wasn't the name of the chick in the, the movie, but like I said before, that's the name I'm going to use for this video. That's a common term to reference black men that go after the Beckys of the world. In this day and time, it don't matter what Becky look like. It doesn't matter how she behaves. Don't matter what her background is. The so-called black man goes after Becky straightway like an ox to the slaughter. And as, as I mentioned in the first video review that I did on this subject. As I mentioned, Becky always appears to be innocent, a damsel in distress. Oh, I need help, help me, protect me. Oh, I didn't know what was going on. I was innocent in all of this. I didn't know that my family was this way. I didn't know that my parents were like this. But then when you ask Becky for help, when you say, Becky, I need your help. I need you to stand by me. This is when Becky tells you, um, excuse me, Negro, but I don't have no keys for you. I will not be giving you the keys. As a matter of fact, I'm going to help my family hunt you and kill you. Now, I know this movie had a lot of turns and twists and angles, but... Also, as I stated before, I really truly believe that there were very clear and open messages in this movie that we've already seen played so many times. We have so many in our own families who have given in to the Beckys of the world, who have been caught in her snares. The scripture tells you in Proverbs that her way is the way to death and hell and destruction. It's like a dart striking through your liver. You don't know what has come up on you, come over you, or what has happened to you. All you know is you heard the, the right words. See, Becky's parents, or family, aunts, uncles, school system, I don't know. Somebody told Becky how to get in your head. And once Becky gets into your head, it's hard to make any sense out of all of your decisions from there. Becky gets in your head and she turns your head completely inside out. You no longer think for yourself. You no longer think rationally. Becky thinks that she is the only one who is able to bring you into any type of lifestyle that's going to be worth living. And many times Becky will separate you from your own family because she knows that if you have a wise sister or wise aunt or cousin anywhere near, that the daughters of Zion are going to warn you about her. And so Becky creates this whole scenario of how the daughters of Zion are really your enemies. Becky has been very instrumental in making the daughters of Zion appear to be the enemies of black women. Becky puts on this fake docility, this fake submission, this fake tenderness, softness, love, and emotions towards you until you push the right Becky button. When you push that button, it's all over, brother. Then the real person shows up. And then all of a sudden, Shaquita don't look so bad because everything Becky is about to unleash on you comes forth with a bang just like it did in the movie Get Out. When you thought you can depend on Becky, you thought all you had to say was, get the keys, baby, get the keys. Come on, get the keys. She fumbles around in this purse, which ain't 
ain't that big. So what do you mean you can't find the keys? Didn't you realize at that moment that Becky was in on it? See, that's what we're trying to say, brothers. This is what we're trying to say. And I know many of the Beckys that may see this and many of the brothers who are with Beckys are not going to like this. But the truth is one of those things that must be told, regardless to who doesn't like it. Becky is not your friend. She is not your lover. She does not love you. She is not the lover of your soul. Because if Becky really truly loved your soul, she would help you to do what is right. And the scripture told you to stay away from Becky. And so if she really truly loved you, she would say, because I love you, I'm not going to deal with you on that level. Because the Bible tells me not to. Now, I know that goes over some of you, your, your head because you don't want to hear that. We believe in this love conquers all thing, even if it means going against the commandments of the Most High Yah. Now, those of you who listen to me know I have to bring the word into this. The scripture commands us not to do this, not to mix and mingle with these other nations. And that doesn't just mean white Beckys. Other nations are other black nations, too. The Israelites are a set apart people. There are Africans that we are not supposed to deal with either. The Africans, for those of you who don't understand this, let me just clarify here in this video too. There's a reason why you will meet an African who can't stand you. And you say to yourself, why is this African treat me this way? Well, you have the children of Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Okay. We are the children of Shem. The Africans are the children of Ham. Okay. And they became enemies. And they know the difference. They know the difference in us and them. Anyone who saw the movie Hotel Rwanda, those were Hamites attacking Shemites. Okay, I'm not going to get off into all that because we're talking about Becky right now. We're talking about the movie Get Out. Our people are refusing to see the handwriting on the wall. This is not something that has just popped up recently. Becky has been up to her tricks for a very long time, even back in the slave quarters. There was a movie, I can't remember the name of it, but there was a movie where this white woman, she got herself up in there with one of the, the big black bucks, as they called them, and she got herself pregnant. She was lusting after him. She wanted this black man, even though she had a white man. But her lust and her insatiable desire and insatiable lust for the black man got the best of her. So she got in there and she spread them legs for this black man and she got pregnant by him. And so what she then did was said that the child belonged to one of the slaves. Because you see, that just, that just goes to show you all how out of sorts they are to where she was pregnant and no one really noticed so she was able to pass this baby off as a baby that belonged to one of the slaves so Becky has been up to this for very long time notice that Becky in the film Get Out had all of these black men thinking that they were the first because her much fair speech and her deceptive tongue her lies and her craftiness had him so spellbound to where this Negro actually believed that. He actually believed that he was the, the first and only black man that she had been with. But she had been with a slew of others. All of which probably had their way with her. Don't think for one moment that dating for four months with Becky, that all they did was lock lips and kiss you saw the scene where they woke up in bed together. So, so Becky was Becky was banging around with all of them. And I don't mean to sound gross, family. I'm just trying to tell it like it is. Because our brothers are being hypnotized and spellbound by the Beckys of the world. And in reality, you see that it doesn't matter what Becky looks like. It doesn't matter her, her um, economic status. They go down to the lowest of the gutters, to the highest of the hills. The richest... To the poorest. 
You have Beckys, old and young, flying around the countries and flying around the world to have sex with black men. I talked about this before. I talked about this before. There are actually sex trips that these women will take on. They will fly their tails across the skies, over the rivers and through the woods to have sex with a black man. But yet black men have been so tricked in their minds to where they think Becky is innocent. They see her as docile and more submissive. No, you think you were hunting, but you were being hunted as she caught you. You were led like a sheep to the slaughter. She got you, but you think you got her. That's the problem. Because of our diminished capacity as people, mental diminished capacity, we have no idea what the hell has happened to us. The same people that have victimized us for a very long time continue to do so. And yet we think they are the prize in a relationship. No, in their minds, they know that they need what you have. This is why this movie Get Out was so important because they weren't over there in Asian countries seeking after those folks. They weren't trying to get their um, body parts. They wanted yours. They wanted that melanin-dominated skin or body so that they can achieve what they were trying to achieve. Some needed eyesight. And in my opinion, the fact that he wanted this young man's eyes spoke volumes to me. They want to see what you see, brother. Because they know that with your vision, your divine vision that Yah has given you, once you open up your eyes, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. That's what I see from that. He wants your eyes, brother. He want to see what you see. But what you are supposed to see, but you're not seeing now because you have been blinded by them. He wants to see what you see, but you can't see because you've been blinded by them. Others needed other body parts because they know that you are stronger. They know that that melanin in you means something. A lot more than the dark skin that you have come to hate because they've made you hate it while they are loving on it. Understand what I'm saying here. Someone shared a, a clip that was um, showed on PBS where they were actually selling melanin. You understand what I'm saying? They taught you to hate it so you will give it up. They taught you to despise it so you can seek after them. So you can diminish yourself even more by breeding with them. I'm telling you right now, family, this thing is deeper than you can imagine. They put the blinders on you. They've taken their blinders off and they are seeking after you. You are the prize, but you think they are the prize. That's what happens when your mind is raped so bad to where you no longer think clear. And it's going to take divine intervention to deliver you from that. It's going to take divine intervention. Now, again, this movie, I think, is very telling. The creator of this movie, I believe, um, is mixed race. And so he has a right to tell this story. He has a right. I don't know if he's first or second generation, but he has a right to tell this story. For those of you making issue of him being with a white woman, he is, I would say, that his black part of him is giving you the black perspective on what it is to be with a Becky. That it's not as simple as you may think. It's not as clear cut as you may believe. It's not as cut and dry as you think it is. But there is a diabolical plan to destroy you black man and black woman and Becky is that last weapon that they have pulled out to do just that Becky is that last weapon and if you don't back up and get out come out from among them and be ye separate if you don't run for your life black man and black woman you will be destroyed take it for what it is 
or you can throw it all out the window. But mark my words, if you want to keep on messing around with Becky and Biff and go against the words of the Most High Yah, the commandments of Yah, then you will be destroyed. And with that, I will say shalom.